Okay, it's raining again today, but I see the sunlight further down south. So who knows, maybe I'll get to fly the drone a little later, but maybe it'll become dark by then, who knows. But I have the drone with me just in case. Today in Canada, that store Sears is officially trying to close out and liquidate everything. So I'm just on my way there just to check it out to see if I can find any good deals or not. I remember before when that Target Canada came here, it was a big bust pretty much and all the sales, they didn't happen until later on, which I'm assuming that's how it is, but usually it'll be pretty packed now. So it'll be interesting just to see if there's anything good to get. This headline actually caught my attention. It's not too new, but it was just a few days ago. It said, Burnaby to add cameras, bike patrols, and more for increased security in city parks. This actually relates to that story. Remember last time when I was walking around, I didn't know why there was a bunch of flowers and stuff there. Apparently there was like that homicide thing in the park that people couldn't figure out. So I guess because of that, people want to step up on the security and what people put out there. And then what, why it made me think too is because here it says putting cameras, more cameras and stuff like that in the city parks. I mean, they're everywhere in general, so it's kind of funny when people say like for drones, even though people don't actually want to capture them, they just want to capture the scenery, they're so paranoid with the cameras. I mean, it just shows you, it's everywhere, right? I mean, to me personally, if you say one form of camera should be banned, like say the drone, just because you think it be, can be used in a bad way, then technically you should ban everything. Like whether it's stuff like this or things on your cell phone. I mean, make it fair, in my opinion anyways. Or the funny thing is too, like here I was thinking, if you were a really devious person in the park, you're probably going to be the one who's most paranoid about the drone capping stuff because you don't want to get caught, which kind of relates a little bit to how some people say like, hey, what are you trying to hide? I mean, yes, of course, there probably are people who use it in a bad way, but they are a minority, just like with anything else in life, and we already have laws that protect people from stuff like that. Don't you think a criminal knowing that a drone flying around that could capture them like accidentally would scare them off too? I would imagine you'd want more people in the city parks basically being more active to discourage people from doing stuff like that. Well, this one was in the US. Uh, it was kind of interesting. It says CNN gets the first FAA waiver to fly drones over crowds. So yeah, literally like what it says. So they officially have permission where I guess if there's a big event or something like that and there's a bunch of people running around they can legally fly their drones and capture the footage i suppose for the news and all that sounds like it took quite a while too it says here the faa finally passed a set of rules for commercial drone aviators back in august 2016 which included a formal restriction from flying over crowds of people given how valuable aerial footage from uav is that's been difficult regulation for news outlets to stomach but today, the ABC granted CNN the first waiver to these rules, allowing it to fly its drones over people. I always thought in the US you could do that as long as you get permission, though I guess for this, it's more about they have a blanket permission to do that, like whenever something happens. Now, according to this, it's not just any type of drone they can't fly, like for example, in a spy over the crowd, so to my understanding anyways. It says here, the waiver applies only to a specific motor vehicle, the 1.3 pound Snap UAS, which is deformable with enclosed rotors. Okay, interesting it says here too, in other words, should it suddenly drop out of the sky, it will do less damage to people than a standard drone. I guess the main thing I was thinking about in regards to that is how at least they acknowledge that a tiny drone like that is not going to severely hurt people like they say, should it follow the sky. Although I'm thinking if it's good enough for them, like they can allow them to do that, why can't you just allow everybody else to do that as well? And even if it's for quote commercial purposes, I mean is that stretching it too much? Like I'm just using an example, what if a real estate agent uses that same type of drone but they want to take a picture of a, um, a house or something like that and they're doing it for commercial purposes. Shouldn't that be okay too in many ways? I know, to me it seems like a little bit too much of a registration process and all that for something that simple and small. I'm inclined to say too, the more people use quote safe drones like this out in the public that people are quote comfortable with even when it comes to lawmakers and all that, the faster it will be normalized. I mean, I can't wait for the day, like again, like say with someone climbing up a ladder to get a photo, people were saying, why aren't you using a drone instead? I mean, that's how it should be, because in many ways it is safer. And then of course, treat other things on a case by case basis. How someone flying right into an airport, trying to capture an airplane next to it, then tunnel that guy on a case by case basis. I mean, it should be that simple in my opinion. All right, I'm expecting a lot of people.
awards on some places. Savage is coming, he's everywhere. That's actually an interesting point too. You buy something here, the store won't cover it anymore. shows how sometimes these deals aren't really a good deal. There it would be about $49, it's still more expensive than Amazon, and this is a clearance deal here. But as you can see from the lineups, it's probably going to be a ton of people buying stuff still, just because of the lure of a sale and the business is closing. Try reading these prices, there's no decimals on them. That's an expensive refrigerator, <laughs> the way it's labeled. Uh, it's expected there isn't very much good deals there. Usually in the beginning, the businesses, they try to make as much money as possible because it makes sense, they want to try to recoup as much losses as possible. And then later on, towards the end, then that's when the big sales become. But then usually people buy them all anyways, they just, just out of emotion because they assume sales, so there's usually nothing left. But yeah, I guess I'll go back on a day-by-day -day basis and see what's there. Someone decided to celebrate Halloween in a different way or something? Eh, it doesn't look like the rain's gonna be stopping anytime soon. So no drone flying today, unfortunately. Now let me see if I can find something that I would have shot that's kind of similar. Alright, see you guys later.